Hi everyone, welcome to the day 2 of th our 30 days of JavaScript challenge. So the day 2 question is counter. This is also an easy level question. So in this question we have been given an integer n and they have told that we need to return a counter function which initially returns n and then returns one more than previous value every subsequent times. What it basically means is like we have a counter function and for, for the first time when we are calling it if the n value is 4 then the counter will return 4 only but if this value or if this function is called again then it will return the value incremented by 1 that is 5 will be returned and when the function is called again so the 5 value will be increased to 6 in this way we need to increase the value by 1 every times that the function is called again and again so the use of closures here is that we have already be, been given a function okay and inside that we have to define a function which will return some value okay such that for the first time when the this counter function is called it should return the number itself so if here we have been given 10 for the first time when counter is called it should give 10 and after that it should return 11 and in subsequently it should return 12 so we have heard about post increment and post decrement right so in this what happens when we are incrementing the value then we have the value incremented by 1 and this happens after the value is returned right what I mean here is if I am doing n plus plus so what is basically happening here first this value of n is returned and then the value will be incremented so for the first time when n will be returned or the function is called for the first time it will return 10 and then after that the value gets incremented by 1 and stored as 11 so when the uh, caller function is called again so it will return the value 11 and increment the value to 12 and when the third time the caller function is called it will return 12 and same way the value will be incremented by 1 and it will be stored as 13 so using the post increment we have to just return the value and this is how the question will be solved so let's move on to the code and see uh, what we have to basically do there so let's see the code now so like in the previous question we had used normal function and as well as arrow function right so here also we can do both of them first of all we will use the function keyword and we will return n plus plus this is only the thing that we need to return in this counter function we will try to run it now the sample test cases are passed now I will comment out this code and I will be using the arrow function for the same so here I will be just writing n plus plus and let's run it I will try to submit it now so this code has been accepted so that's it for today guys thank you for watching let's meet in the other video where we will be solving a new question related to closures also in order to continue with me in this playlist subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification show, so you will be notified every time I post a new video and thank you for watching.